About five years ago, we were discussing fire issues at one of our uh, homeowners meetings and the uh, county fire department came out and offered to come look at our, our uh, home and give us an evaluation. Uh, Captain Watson at that time was running the uh, fire crews for the Salt Lake County uh, Fire Department and he told us that we were in a very high fire danger area and that it was to our advantage to start thinking about doing some maintenance in our, on our property. Uh, typically what we had was what you see behind us, the trees were had limbed down to the, to the, uh, the, the ground. As you can see, and the, the trees down in this area here uh, have been limbed up uh, <laughs> and you know that was most of this was done last year to uh, to improve our fire safety <coughs> we removed a lot of the sagebrush up here the um, the secondary trimming that we have done up in this area was done by the uh, the state fire crews uh, out, out of the point of the mountain uh, early last spring when they had available time and we had some funding by the uh, uh, the state to come have bring the crews in here they came in and trimmed the trees and then took the uh, limbs and chipped them up and provided a mulch which we were able to use and spread around the, uh, the house. Um, not only did they do it to our property but probably about 20 other homes up here uh, volunteered and got involved in supporting that activity. Two years ago we were up in Jackson Hole and I got a call from my nephew. He said that looking from his home out in Harriman that our hill was on fire behind us. Well, Bing's, we were 500 miles away. <laughs> there wasn't much we could do about it. And so we basically picked up camp and came home the next day. But we weren't as worried as we would have been because the, if the fire had have crested over the top of the mountain and run down the hill, um, we had a defensible space around our home. We developed, uh, with the, the county's approval, uh, a bigger driveway so that the fire engines could get up here and defend our home, but also the fact that we had trimmed the trees back, reduced the, uh, uh, the grasses and the, the uh, sagebrush uh, 50 to 100 feet from our home, reduced the potential for the fire uh, to come into our house. So again, we weren't as concerned as we would have been uh, had we not done the work that we've done, the fire crews would have probably put the red mark on our driveway and gone on down to the next home to one that has the capability of being defended. And that's one thing that we have to look at is, can your house be defended? Because if it can't, the fire crews don't want to risk their lives defending something that you're not willing to, to work at and try and defend it yourself. So <laughs> that aspect of, of living in the, uh, uh, this type of terrain has to be first and foremost in your mind is, would you be willing to risk your life to save this house knowing that the owner wasn't willing to trim the trees and make the effort himself to, uh, to make it fire safe? When the Salt Lake Fire Department, Salt Lake County Fire Department came in and surveyed our property initially, they took a look at our driveway and it was about as half as wide as it is currently. They said, fire trucks can't come up here we need you to widen it. And I said, oh my God, you can't try, cut my trees down. And they said, we need to trim some of them back, move, you know, widen the uh, driveway so that we can get our fire trucks up in here and be able to turn them around and get out of here if we have to. So the, the crews came in and chopped down five or six trees down the driveway and opened it up so that <coughs> we had a, a wider driveway. We didn't change the, the view coming up but we did widen it so that uh, the trucks can get up here and get up here safely and uh, get out of here safely if they had to. So it's, uh, they did a tremendous job in, in protecting our privacy, but they also widened it and made it uh, a more survivable area for them to come into. During that uh, survey, the fire department also looked at our driveway and we had about half the space up here that we currently have and they said it needs to be widened so that the fire trucks can be turned around. And the one thing that you can end up with, and I, I think we have done that to a certain extent, uh, is it looks more like a park now. It's a little bit more open, 
without it being really open. Right. We, uh, we it, enjoy it a lot, yeah. a lot more. We get to see the wildlife a whole lot more. The deer run through here, the wild turkeys are through here, the quail, uh, the red fox, we've seen a few, some coyotes. Uh, you're able to see and appreciate the game. You know, there are people that live in environments like this that won't trim their trees saying, we have this wonderful environment and we don't want to lose it. Well, you know, you have to, it's like everything else. It's a little bit of a compromise. Uh, but be honest with you, I don't think it's any compromise. I like it better. It's, it's a cleaner looking environment and it's, uh, it, it's refreshing. You know, it's coming home to our own little uh, camp in the, in the mountains. So we, we enjoy it immensely. Yeah. Do you have one of them? There she goes. <laughs> a lot of people ask us when they come up this way if it was all worth it because when we first moved up here, we did not know what it was to be in a fire zone and in a fire area as we are right now. It is worth it. It's a lot of work. Um, but the main thing that everybody seems to forget is it could happen to you. And when we started this whole process, um, the education that we received from the Bureau of Land Management and the fire crews, that instilled in us that it could happen to us. And it was imperative that we took immediate steps to do what we've done here um, to make ourselves more fire safe. But um, it's a great environment, but you have to work at it every single year and make sure that you're maintaining the property so that you are in a safe zone.